Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be sharing how I made this quick and easy birthday easel card using the products that you see here from Cat Scrappiness. Now this is from their birthday collection. This is the Birthday Essentials paper pad. This is a 6x8 paper pad and it comes with lots of patterns here in red, blue, yellow, and green. I'm also going to be using this word die that says make a wish. It comes with the shadow and I'm going to be using the birthday essentials die set. It comes with the outline of the cake plus these icing shapes here. Some dies for cutting out gifts, balloons, party hats, candles. It's a really cool set. There's a lot that you can do with it. And then I'm also going to be using one of the rectangle dies from the crafter essentials one die set. So let's go ahead and get started. I have this top folding card base that I cut from eight and a half by 11 paper and I cut it vertically and scored it at five and a half. I'm using this diagonal stripes pattern to cut out the rounded edge rectangle from that crafters essential one die set. And I'm gonna be using this blue pattern paper here that's got all the different images on it. That's gonna be the solid background piece. And the back side of this diagonal paper is yellow so i'm going to cut the the large cake die i'm going to cut that out on the other side and then i'm going to take the icing pieces and i'm going to cut this out of the solid red and the solid blue papers so the biggest and the smallest i'm going to cut out of red and then that middle icing piece is going to be cut out of blue now for the top of my cake i'm going to put a candle and so I'm going to go ahead and cut out this striped candle out of the blue, but I'll also um, cut it out of the red as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this out using my die cutting machine, and I will be right back. I also cut out the Make-A-Wish out of the blue, and then I used the shadow out of the red paper. So I went ahead and glued everything together. And so now let's assemble the easel part of the card. So I'm going to take my blue, I'm going to call this my background, and I'm going to trim this down to four by five and a quarter. And then before I glue it onto the card base, I want to go ahead and score this in the middle to make the easel part. So on the, um, on the one side, I'm going to score this at two and three quarters. And then before I glue the blue piece down, I'm going to go ahead and score that down the middle as well. And that'll be scored at two and five eighths. Okay, so now I'm adding some Barely Arts glue to the back so that I can glue this panel down. And then I'm going to take the rectangle piece and since this is going to be an easel card, it'll be um, flipped up halfway. And so I'm only going to apply glue to the bottom half of this striped piece. Now I'm going to attach the birthday cake to the diagonal striped piece. And then I'm going to take the blue candle that I cut out and I'll be placing that on top of the cake and then I'm going to use the little pieces from the red candle that I cut out and I'm going to inlay those little tiny pieces inside of the, the blue frame. I forgot to mention earlier that I took the red and yellow paper and I cut out the two different size flames that go with the candle. And so the yellow is the larger and I put the red on the inside. And so I just glued that down to the top of the cake, or I'm sorry, the candle. And it's gonna stick up just a little bit, but not past the edge of the card. And then for the center of the card, I'm gonna use this piece of pattern paper here. And I'm just trying to decide which side I want to use because I really like the contrast of the yellow and the stars with that blue paper. So I ended up going with the yellow. So I'm just going to attach this down. And since this is an easel card, 
the top part has to have something to kind of butt up against so I am going to add the sentiment and then a strip of paper it's probably a good idea to put several strips of paper so that it will have enough room for that lip to sit on and then to finish off the card I'm going to use these glow-in-the-dark Nuvo drops and I'm going to apply that to the outer rim of the flame and then I've applied the stickles glue and crystal to the inner part on top of that red there and so I just placed my Fiskar scissors down on top while the glue dries so that it doesn't run and this finishes off my card this was a really quick and easy birthday card and the products from Cat Scrappiness just made it super easy and I just love all these bold colors. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll click on that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.